think you said you you took your first PDC. Uh, was it 2014? 2010. 2010. Okay, so you took your first two, 2000, PDC in 2010 with Jeff Lawton at Green in the Desert. You are about to hop on the plane to Alberta uh, for your first ever project. And uh, before you get into, you're, you're in that tunnel, walking down the, the plane to board it. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden you pop in front of yourself. Uh, you just, you, you've, you somehow found a time machine. And you know, from today, you're able to go back uh, you know, 11 years and you've got 30 seconds to tell yourself um, you know, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. before that plane what, what would you tell yourself enjoy it um oh goodness yeah i'd leave it at that enjoy the discovery and and don't worry too much um i Joining Albela for me was, it was a pivot. I was in a job that I did not like. I didn't want to keep doing it. And this opportunity kind of fell in my lap. And, it, and at the time, I was actually preparing to go apprentice with Yonto Evans. Do you guys know Yonto? Yep. At, mm -hmm. at Cobb Cottage Company in Southern yep. Oregon? Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was saving money so that I could go intern with Yonto and learn natural building. Because mm -hmm. um, I was like, look, I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to get into sustainability one way or another, right? Whether it's, and, and my passion was sustainability in food systems and sustainability in the built environment. And then Elbeza fell in my lap and I was like, oh, this is way more fun. <laughs> um, and so for me, it was a bit of an escape right? Like I, I really disliked where I was. And it was a chance to, to start doing professionally what I really wanted to do. Um, and so it was a massive risk. It was a huge, huge risk. But I, I was ready to jump because I hated where I was. Um, and for me, it was all right, let's let's see if this actually works, right? I didn't know if it was possible. In fact, a whole bunch of people told me that it wasn't. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to give it a shot. And, you know, I, I, it, it wasn't the first time I'd gone into a foreign culture as, as a stranger. Um, and, and for me, it was like, okay, well, even if this fails spectacularly, you know, I, I'll be able to spring off of this into something else, right? That's that's related. And so for me, it was it was a chance at at an adventure and a chance to to start doing something that I really cared about. And and some things did fail quite spectacularly. Um, I mean, when I watch that video and I look at those images, I see thousands of errors. Um, you guys don't see it because you weren't there for them, but I can see them. And, and I can see how it could have been better if, if we hadn't made those mistakes, but that's part, of, that's part of learning. That's part of prototyping, right? That's what a prototype is. And so uh, I did, and it, it was extremely difficult. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. I went through periods of deep, deep loneliness and isolation. Um, and I, I was, you know, safe 98% of the time, right? Safety generally wasn't an issue. Um, but it's, it's hard work, right? And it's not just hard work in the sense that you're moving rocks. It's hard work in the sense that you're um, you're dealing with a lot of different people who see me as a threat or um, someone to be suspicious of or any sort of other things. I mean, the, the first part of my job was building trust. And it really took two and a half, three years before I felt like I had it 
with the whole of the community. Um, so I don't, I don't want to sugarcoat what this experience was. Uh, I burned out a few times and then went back to it. Had some very, very difficult times with it. But in the end, um, I could not be happier with the choices that I made to give it a shot. Um, and even, even if it had failed spectacularly, it was worth the effort, right? And so part of my decision-making for that was, um, you know, what's the worst that could happen? Well, the worst that could happen is it fails spectacularly, but you gave it a shot and it was worth it. Uh, so I would tell myself 11 years ago, you know, enjoy it. It's going to be, and don't worry too much. <laughs>